Most Belizeans travel the country using public buses as their primary form of transportation. In Belize City, buses are filled to capacity and sometimes above its legal limit as commuters make their way either to their place of school or work. Regardless of the time it takes to get to their destination, the comfort and safety are primary concerns. On multiple occasions, commuters would take to social media to express their displeasures at the bus conditions. Today, our news team went to get a first-hand experience of the buses, primarily the intercity runs. What we found were broken seats and unkept buses. One regular rider, Chrisella Arnold, along with her children, take the bus each day from Port Loyola to the north side. For now, this is her only way of getting around in the city. And according to her, the buses do need an upgrade. Honestly, sometimes good, sometimes bad. They have the days where it's overcrowded, you have to stand up. It went special when it rained. The, all the windows locked up, really hot. You know, the seats, they wear and tear. I even experienced once, I got in this seat and I <laughs> went straight back with it. There was no vacative to it. I don't know, I was frightened at that moment. Barbie Gentle is a cab driver. He rarely takes the bus, but he says that on many occasions, his customers would complain of the bus conditions as well. Additionally, however, he says many times the buses are late and overcrowded, posing a disrupted schedule for the commuter and a safety concern. Yeah, um, well, I have some customers who actually catch my cab, but most of the time they catch the bus due to the, you know, the expense and stuff. And um, they tell me sometimes, you know, like ride the school, the, the bus whenever a lot of school pick up on it because they're like chaos on the bus. It's crowded and then most of the time, some buses have the, the one bucket or two that front where you could put your garbage, but most people just drop it in at the bus. While it is not in everyone's budget to use taxi services, some citizens simply must endure the circumstances that they face. Ken Smith travels each day from Hattieville and says the overcrowded conditions have forced him to get out to the bus stop two hours early, so he makes it to work on time. Say you condong and you have to work back at Westland Diva. You not work walk from terminal to Westland Diva. Moreover, you know got no money for the drive or catch no twelve dollars taxi for go way the back there. So you know to jump on the city bus right out there so by the um, bridge foot pong yard. You know when you jump on their city bus, the condition where they are one year they in. I have no idea where wrong with their people. The seat, the drop off, the seat name bolt down, the covering will cover the seat. I don't know if that leather or some type of strange material, non-stick, everybody sweat up on that. You get on the bus, all of the seat name, um, what do you call it, permanent marker up with graffiti and people name. I name no who that this Rebecca but she have for she name just right across the whole seat. Love News understands that the bus condition is not entirely the bus operator's fault. Gentle, who is a former bus driver, says he believes that the commuters play a big role in the state that the buses are in. As an old bus driver who's been driving bus for over 30 years, I drive school bus, I drive passenger bus and most of the, the, the damages, if I could use that word, that's done to the bus are done by the, the commuters, not the driver and the conductor, because no conductor and driver want damage in one bus. However, that's a part of the, um, the bus industry, right? Um, most of the time that kids pick up school kids and they got a big sign in the bus sometimes, do not stand on the seat, do not damage the seat, but for reasons more than one that kids will deal with or adolescents, so they get kind of, how you say, carried away. Having said that, that falls totally upon the bus owners, right? They keep their bus up to date. Right? But at the end of the day, they only could do so much. But in terms of keeping the bus roadworthy and how you that say commuter friendly, that's far from the On multiple occasions this year, Transport Minister Rodwell Ferguson has committed to improving the standards for public transportation. With the end of 2023 fast approaching, the question is will the bus owners be ready to meet the end of year deadline? It's left to be seen. Reporting for Love News, I am Kendra Romero.